In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, a circle comes where you can add the headline here. And when I click, it will show you this kind of a tower type, which the option number one, you can add the icon and the title and the detail text. When I click with a different color, it will show me the option two, three, four, five. And then on the right side, it will show me six, seven, eight, nine and 10 so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size, shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. I'm going to give some light gray color, then later on we can change it. Then align center, align middle. All right. Now I'm going to add uh, some uh, square shapes here. So select the rectangle, hold the shift key so that you get a perfect uh, square shape. Okay. Now, depending on your requirement, how many square shapes you need, you can just add it. So let me just remove the outline here and then press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm just uh, going to add one here like this. Ctrl D something here and some like this and control d again you can see here i've added five rectangles all right maybe we can just uh, give some different color to differentiate all right so you can see here i'm just randomly i'm just adding some colors later on we will change that colors okay uh, maybe this color now what happens uh, here is uh, there are two ways we can uh, actually link this one from the center of the slide one is the professional way where i have to go to insert shapes i have to select the rectangle i have to draw a rectangle something like this all right and then i have to cut this part let me just show you once so that you get idea what exactly i'm talking about and then let me just go back to the format shape and fill and make it transparent okay and then i have to go to insert shapes i have to select the a uh, right triangle i have to draw a right triangle shape outline no outline and then i have to go and click flip horizontal all right and then i have to cut it like this okay and then similar thing i have to do it at the top also again press ctrl d it gives some different color combination again rotate it you have to rotate it the way you want okay till here like this and then i have to drag it down so this is how, for example, I'm just going to cut this one, select this one and this one, merge shape, subtract, and this one, subtract. So we end, we end up getting a shape, something like this, all right? So this is the professional way of doing, uh, but I'm not going to do this one. We'll use some, so the free form shape to do it quickly, all right? So uh, let me just duplicate this slide, all right? Let me just delete now. Now, how to do that one? You have to go to insert shapes, from the lines, I'm going to choose a freeform shape. So I'm just going to click in the center exactly here. Then one point, I'm just clicking here. Okay, one here and another one here. So you can see here how quickly we did that one. So shape outline, no outline. Shape fill, you can give some different color. And you have to just make sure that this is properly aligned. If it is not, then right mouse click, edit point. Then you have to correct this one. All right. So once this is done, now the same way I'm going to add for the other one, go to insert shapes, select the freeform shape. Again, from the center, this is still here, you can see, and here, and then I'm just clicking it here. Sorry, just click it. So shape outline, make it no outline. And for example, say I'm going to give this color as say a kind of a pink. And here also I'm going to give pink, but here I'm going to make it somewhat lighter pink. Okay. And then here also I'm going to make it pink, but this time here, this will be more darker. So it looks something like this. Can you see here? All right. Again, as I said, again, if you want to align it, 
uh, right mouse click edit points and then zoom and then you can see here we have not added properly so i have to just do it correctly like this all right now let me just bring this to front all right then go to insert shapes again from the lines i'm going to choose the free form shape again from the center i'm clicking here then here then here all right so shape outline again make it no outline maybe this time i'm going to give the color as a uh, uh, green light green here i'm going to give uh, again the same color green but this time i'm going to make it more lighter color and here insert shapes select the free form shape again and from here this go like this this end and here shape outline no outline and i'm going to give some darker green here all right so likewise you have to just bring this to front and insert shapes again from the free form shape um this one is pretty straightforward i don't need to do it anything i'll just make it sorry like this all right maybe this color i'm going to give maybe a purple and here also i'm going to make it purple uh, plus i can make it more lighter all right and make sure that every time you need to make it no outline okay so like this now comes to this one let me just go to insert shapes select the free form again again from the center all right one here one here and one more here shape outline no outline so this time i'm going to give maybe a orange color and here also i'm going to give orange but i'm going to make it lighter color okay now this particular blank area we need to add again go to insert shapes again free form shape from here to this to this and here shape outline no outline and shape fill same color but more darker this time all right okay and then you can select this three and send this to back so it looks like this so let me just send this to back yeah and then the last one again the same way i'm going to do it from the center first do this part then here this color might be i will take a kind of a turquoise all right or teal color and here shape outline no outline and here also i'm going to give same color but make it more lighter and then one more which i'm going to do till from here till here again yes same color but make it more darker all right so this one this one and this one i'm going to send this to back even this also send this to back now we have got the designs ready now i'm going to just select this design press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it okay move this aside go to shape format rotate i'm going to make it flip horizontal and put it exactly in the center all right and then send this to back this also or bring this to front you can see here our shape is ready now you can add some a uh, text so let me just ungroup this all right see there's some gaps here which we need to uh, fill that one okay so go to insert text box i'm going to type one maybe i'm going to use arial black increase the size all right and put it here this is one and make the font as uh, the uh, color as white and then if you want to give some uh, shadow options so you have to go to the text options go to the effects shadows and you can use any shadow of your choice maybe i'm going to use this one all right press ctrl d to duplicate likewise you just need to add the option number for each 
you know the bars here or the towers control D all right so you can see here and then last then depending on your requirement you can just change to one two three four or a b c d or whatever all right and then you can add some text outside so go to insert text box i will just say equals lorem within brackets one and unwanted text i will delete it keep it smaller okay and then with the title you can add it so this one you can see here one by one you can do this part all right now the same thing goes here i'm just going to put it here now this will be right aligned control d to duplicate you can just add one by one by pressing control d all right so you can see here and again in the center also you can add some uh, uh, text here and then once this is done it's time to do the animation i'm going to show you only one animation so before doing the animation make sure that this all these things has to be grouped so one hold the shift key select this one this one and this one press ctrl g to group it the moment you group this one it comes front so we need to just send this to back all right so it looks something like this so now how we need to do is go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm just going to make it wipe effect you can see here wipe from maybe from left okay now similarly you need to just group this one and copy the animation here so that's the simple way you can add the animation effect